Hi, and welcome back to Football Made Simple. There was a lot of excitement when Xavi was appointed as Barcelona manager. After all, who knew the Barcelona way more than the man at the heart of perhaps the greatest club side of all time? But there were also some cautious fans, as after all, he had zero managerial experience at a top club, having only managed Al Saad in Qatar. And it has been a mix of both, as Xavi has brought a lot of good to the side, but it also hasn't been the revolution many were hoping for. But what exactly have Xavi's tactics been with the Blaugrana? Let's take a look. And for all football fans, and Premier League fans in particular, our video sponsor Spitch is the perfect fantasy football app for you. Spitch is a subset of OneFootball and it allows you to compete weekly for real money or for fun against your mates and the world. That's right, weekly, because we all know how hard it is to keep updating your fantasy team every week. But with Spitch, you can pick a new team every single week to compete against your mates on a number of different pitches. So instead of having to play every week to win a prize at the end of the season, you can win a weekly prize, so you aren't disadvantaged if you miss one week. You can play on the free pitches or the paid for ones, and either way you can win real money. So for the next Premier League game week, my team looks like this. Let me know what you think of it down below. So download Spitch for absolutely free through the link in the description below to give it a go and to help support the channel. Spitch is currently only available in the UK and Ireland, you have to be 18 and up and all you need is your ID to register. Statistically, there has been a big improvement from Kerman this season. Under Kerman, Barcelona were languishing in 9th, averaging 1.5 points per game, 1.5 goals per game, whilst also conceding 1.1 goals per game. Under Xavi, most of these key metrics have improved, as they lie in 4th if you only consider his reign averaging 2.2 points per game, scoring 1.72 goals per game, although their defensive record is relatively similar. And this has been achieved primarily using a 4-3-3, the only change being the 3-4-3 against Osasuna. In terms of personnel, there's been a distinct lack of consistency, with the staggering 32 players having made at least one appearance in his 16 matches. But for the sake of this video, we'll use the following players as representatives will concentrate on Barcelona in possession. Of course, Xavi looks to implement a possession-oriented style of play, looking to get numerical superiority around the ball in some interesting ways. When under little pressure, the centre-backs can form a 2 vs 1 against a single forward, with the full-backs both wide providing the outlet options, and Busquets being in the pivot position. And early on in these situations, Xavi has opted for much more of a double pivot system, with the midfielder often joining Busquets, as most teams are often looking to man-mark Busquets. So, the extra man helps Barcelona to overload the man, or draw an extra midfielder out of position, creating space higher up. But at times, we have seen that the centre-backs are vulnerable to being pressed, with Piquet not quite being the Piquet of old, and Araujo not always making the right decisions on the ball. So, to maintain a numerical advantage, and even a qualitative one at times, Initially, it was Busquets who dropped between the centre-backs to then create a back three, which could work. But this would mean the higher Barcelona midfielder would have to drop deep to be the second pivot, rather than potentially occupying space between the lines. This has somewhat been mitigated when Ferran or Memphis were in the front line, as they could drop into the midfield position, much different to when Luke de Jong is up front. But Xavi has wanted to use Busquets slightly differently. Busquets is aging, so consistently making these movements into these deep regions would not be ideal. So instead, the goal has been to see him in this holding pivot position, or moving even higher to exert his influence there. And this is where the fullbacks come to the fore. Earlier in the season, they played more traditionally, with Dest happy to hug the touchline as a traditional fullback, and that is also naturally Alba's instinct. But Xavi has altered this as of late opting for a method his former manager Guardiola has repopularized in recent years, that being the inverted fullbacks. Alba is much more willing to begin deeper at times and much more narrow, whether this is as a midfielder or beginning much deeper to be a part of the back three. But more interesting is the role of the right back. Even at his age, Dani Alves is still excellent on the ball for a right back, and Xavi's desire for inversion may be why he has come in for Dest and Alves is rarely ever in the backline, and instead almost always offs to roam into a pivot position. So, the positioning of the fullbacks unlocks many possibilities for the midfield. 
If Alba is the third centre-back, Busquets no longer has to worry about dropping into the back line to build up the play, as they will already have three men deep. And now, with Busquets staying higher up the pitch, it also frees up the free eights, meaning they can push right up into the half spaces, creating a front five that is much more difficult to mark. It has also meant that the free eights, sometimes Nico or Pedri or Dion, have freedom to move higher up and cause havoc, or even make runs into the box. And although Barca have plenty of numbers in the centre, their combinations have not been quick enough to take advantage of these situations. When dominating possession even more, in recent matches, Xavi has experimented with even pushing Busquets slightly higher when Alba joins the midfield with Dani Alves, but this is a much more rare situation. It should also be noted that this position can offer more protection against the counter, with the pivots able to cover progression into the wide regions, in addition to the back three being able to cover more space. But their attacking structure makes their signing of Adama Traore make much more sense. With the Brazilian drifting central so often, Barcelona needed someone comfortable progressing the ball alone down the right flank, which is something Adama is excellent at. In addition, with the man in the half space, the opposition fullback is normally dragged inside the pitch, and Adama is happy hugging the touchline to begin with. This means when Barcelona are quick enough with their passing, he's free to receive. So this inevitably leads to one vs one situations out wide, and there are few defenders in world football who'd want to go one vs one with Adama Traore. In fact, his 3.5 successful dribbles per 90 already top La Liga, albeit with an extremely small sample size. And unlike most wingers, who tend to be inverted and look to cut inside, Traore consistently hits the byline and looks to cut the ball back to create chances. In fact, for a player who often lacks end product, he has started incredibly well, with two assists in two appearances. Overall, Xavi's reign has confirmed what was already widely known. Fixing Barcelona is going to be a long-term project, and no single manager or player will be the silver bullet to get them back to the glory days. However, Barcelona can be rebuilt brick by brick, and perhaps Xavi's reign has shown he could be the cornerstone in that process. But what do you think of Xavi's Barcelona? Drop it down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, you may also enjoy the FMS Patreon. On Patreon, you'll get early access to videos, exclusive videos, as well as the ability to vote on various polls and so much more. It's a great way to support the channel and it is now cheaper than ever. All you have to do is head over to patreon.com slash footballmadesimple or press the card in the top right or the end card at the end of this video. And a special thanks to my patrons including my latest patrons like Jake Jake, Matt, Cecil Gettens, Rudra, Andy Ray and Daniel Angulo. But that's all for today and remember, keep it simple.